Hey, Clearview family, I hope that you are enjoying this journey of a fast, a breakdown of ourselves for a breakthrough with God. Today, John 10, 10 says this, Jesus says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and life to the full. God wants you to have abundant life. Jesus came so that you and I can have life and life to the full. But the enemy of your soul, the enemy of the kingdom comes to steal, kill, and destroy what God is building in your life. And here's the thing, the enemy can't steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to do that, but his greatest, weapon, his greatest weapons are to distract and discourage. The only way that the enemy wins, because we have victory in Jesus already, is for us to forget that we are victorious in Jesus. I said it during our Christmas series, that victory was born in a manger, died on a cross, and is ruling from a throne. And I'm so thankful that I have victory in Jesus. And you need to remind the devil today and the enemy of your soul that not today, Satan, because I have victory in Jesus. The only way the enemy wins is if we forfeit what God is doing in our lives by surrendering it over to the enemy. And the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, which are very direct images for us that he's coming to take away what God is doing. But the only way he can take it away is if we give it to him. Now, he comes to do that, but he can only distract and discourage. And the enemy will come to get your eyes off of the author and perfecter of your faith so that you do not run the race with perseverance and that he can get you off course. But Jesus came so that you can have life and life to the full. He is your shepherd and you lack nothing. And I want you to see this because as you fast and as you pray, the enemy is going to try and distract and discourage you in this season where you are breaking down yourself for a breakthrough with God, where you are picking up your cross and putting down your preferences. And as you are pursuing him, his will, nothing more, nothing less than nothing else, the enemy is going to come to distract and discourage. But what needs to awaken within the believer is the power of the Holy Spirit that reminds you that you are victorious in Jesus and you keep your eyes on the author and perfecter of your faith because he is writing your story, you are not. And you be faithful because he is ordering your steps. And as you are faithful in prayer and as you are faithful to him, and as you abide in him and he abides in you, you will bear much fruit. My encouragement for you is to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus because he came to give you life and life abundantly, life and life to the full.